Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to my channel, my grow space, my patio garden, Orchids for Dummies. It's not much, but it's mine. I have a dear fell pal named Mandy that wanted to know how much direct sun do my orchids outdoors receive. So I'm going to let you guys have a look around so you can see how I have them positioned and I'll give you a couple of care tips. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, and share it with a friend because everyone wants to know how to put their orchids outdoors in the summertime. Stay tuned. And welcome on back. My son here in Alabama, a subtropical environment similar to yours, Mandy, in Florida. Um, today we have a lot of forecasts because we can get um, torrential storms, those spot showers at any given time. This is also the best time to introduce your orchids to outdoors because you don't have to worry about the sunburn and it just kind of eases the stress of the plant. Stay tuned. So welcome on back. So first things first, sunburn is going to be your main concern. Well, Fal Pal Darrell, what does sunburn look like? This is what sunburn can look like. Now, you also have different types of orchids. This right here is a Vanda type orchid. You can hear the thunderstorm in the back, girl. I told you, honey, it has not rained all day, but it's been storm-like all day. But okay, so these are Vandas and they are what we call high light orchids, meaning that they like more light than your Phalaenopsis orchid. Okay, your Phalaenopsis orchid, let me let you see how I have her positioned. She is back here, okay? I'm sorry, Felpels, her bloom. I do not remember her bloom looking like that. That just caught me off guard. <laughs> but she is up under a shingle. So as far as direct sunlight, when the sun first comes up over here in the east, she gets about three hours of that soft and supple lighting. As well as when the sun goes down in the evening, she gets about um, two three more hours of direct sun, but it's soft and supple. Now, when I first put her out here, I had her hanging over here with the Vandas and she immediately got sunburned. And so um, that's going to be a tip and trick, you know, for putting your orchid outdoors. Your Phalaenopsis type of orchids cannot really receive as much light. Now, your Vandas, um, any type of orchid that you have that turns purple, that means that they are tolerant of such highlight. But for the most part, most of my orchids are not even in direct sun because they really don't need direct sun outdoors because it's already so bright. It's already bright outdoors. Now, I have some orchids on the back that some of my fail pals did not know about. So, I'm going to let you guys see in just a minute. Welcome on back. Now, these are actually storm clouds in the back. So, with that being said, I want to keep in mind that when you are placing your orchids outdoors, yes, you want to make sure that it's in a place where the sun will not take it down. But in addition, girl, these storm winds, they can get really, really strong. So just keep in mind that you also want to put your orchids outdoors somewhere secure. So when the winds start blowing really hard, girl, your orchids will not fly away. I have had orchids to fly away from me. Yes, God, I have. So the same thing is true about these orchids on this side of my home. They are getting um, soft and supple lighting. They are not, okay, that's the main thing. They are not getting direct afternoon sunlight. So this is how I always like to think about it. Okay, Fal Pal Durrell, what type of light is good for my orchids? Think about when you would need to use your um, your sunscreen, okay? The hours of the day that you would need the sunscreen the most. That is going to be the type of sun that most orchids do not like. Now, this is an uncidium type, and this is a very thin, very thin leaf 
compared to your dendrobium, okay, and your phalaenopsis per se. So, they are prone to get sunburn, but if you only give them that morning and evening sunlight or just put them outdoors and don't worry about the sunlight, they're going to grow naturally because they're going to be so happy that Mother Nature is now taking care of them. And that's all I have to say. If you guys have any um, questions, if you guys have any requests for videos in the future, let me know the same way Fail Pal Mandy did. And I hope that you have a happy growing. Until next time.